ba talaga si Marcos? I love Marcos. Hater ka ni Marcos ah. Ang mga ginawa si Marcos. Ang ginawa si si Marcos, ang galit ka kayo Marcos. Salanan niya ba ang pinataas ng mga gunggong yung presyo ng ano? Marcos ka ba lang ito? Siyempre, bakit? Wala mo na ako, Marcos ako. Marcos binuto ko. Marcos. This is my Babu. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today I will be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My heart is receptive. I will never be the same in Jesus' name. God bless you. I want to talk to you today about stepping in to the unknown. Stepping in to the unknown. I have an address in my navigation system. There's an option that comes up that says Route Overview. If you click that, it will give you all the details of your trip. There may be 15 different instructions. Travel six miles on this freeway. Get off at exit 43. Go 400 feet. Turn left on the intersection. Your whole route is clearly laid out. You know where you're going. How long it's going to take. What you expect. Knowing these details makes us comfortable where we can relax. In the same way, God has a route over for you. Before you were formed in your mother's womb, He laid out your plan. He not only knows your final destination, but He knows the best way to get you there. But one difference between God and a navigation system is God doesn't show you the route over to you. He doesn't tell you how it's going to happen, how long it's going to take, where the funds are going to come from, who you're going to be. He leads you one step at a time. If you'll trust Him and take that step into the unknown, not knowing how it's going to work out, then He'll show you the next step. And step by step, He'll lead you into your destiny. The challenge is, we like details. We wouldn't have any problem taking that step of faith. Starting that new business, going back to school, moving to that new location. If we knew where the money was coming from, how long it was going to take, that the right people would be there. If we had all the details, it'd be easy to step out. Here's the key. God doesn't give us details. He's not going to show you a blueprint through your whole life. If you had all the facts, you wouldn't need anything. He's going to send you out not knowing everything. If you'll have the boldness to step in to the unknown, do what He's asking you to do, doors will open that you could have never opened. The right people will show up. You will have the funds, the resources that you need. The scripture puts it this way. God's word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. A lamp implies you have just enough to see in front of you. God is not giving you the light for the next 50 years. Like the headlights on your car. When you're driving at night, you can only see 100 feet in front of you. If you don't pull over because you can't see your destination 50 miles away, you keep driving as you go further, then you will see more. Will you take that step with the life that you have? If you're waiting for all the details, you're going to be waiting your whole life. We all want to be comfortable, but being in God's perfect will will make you a little uncomfortable. There's a healthy tension to where you have to stretch, you have to pray, you have to believe. You're not sure how it's going to work out. That's when you're growing. That's when you're learning to trust God in a greater way. And God is not just interested in the destination. He's teaching you along the way. He's getting you prepared, growing you up. On purpose, God will put us in situations where we're over our head, where our friends can't help us, 
where we don't have the experience, too often we sit back and I'm not going there. I'm not qualified. I'm too nervous. What if it doesn't work out? God knew you would be nervous. He knew you wouldn't feel qualified. That's a test. Are you going to talk yourself out of it? Are you going to let the fear of what you can't see hold you back? Or are you going to be bold and step in to the unknown? In the unknown is where miracles happen. In the unknown is where you discover a building that you didn't know you had. In the unknown is where you'll accomplish more than you ever dreamed. Just because you don't have the details doesn't mean God doesn't have the details. He has the route overview for your life. He wouldn't be leading you there if he didn't have the favor, the provision, everything you need to go to the next level. One thing I like about my navigation system is it gives me exact details. Go 9.3 miles down this freeway. Then it counts down the whole way. Eight miles left, seven miles, six miles. <laughs> it's all right. God is just the opposite. He'll tell you, go down this road. The first thing we do is ask the answer. How far do you want me to go? No answer. What do you want me to take? No answer. Who's going to be there to meet me? No answer. Can you hear the silence of not knowing everything? Will you trust God even though you don't have all the details? Will you take that step of faith even when you're uncomfortable, you're nervous, not sure how it's going to work out? This is what happened. God told him to leave the place he was living. That was the family is the law. He walked to the land. That God was going to give him. The only problem was God didn't give him any reason. The scripture says Abraham went out not knowing where he was going. I can imagine Abraham telling his wife Sarah, Honey, I've got great news. We're going to be living. God promised me he's taking us to a better land. Well, we're going to be blessed in a new way. I can hear Sarah Jeez. saying, That's Oh, so no, 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 motherfucker. No, Abraham no, motherfucker. Stop he that. Didn't tell me. She asked, Well, what should I wear? Will it be cold or hot? He says, I'm not sure. Well, Abraham, are you sure God told you this? How are we going to provide for our family? Where are we going to get food for our staff and animals? This seems like a mistake. If you're going to step into the unknown, it's going to take boldness. It's not always going to make sense. People may not understand it. Your own thoughts will tell you, you better play it safe. This is too big a risk. What if it doesn't work out? What if it Even doesn't work out? Oh, God. It just because he didn't have all the answers, for the just transport. because he was nervous, didn't mean he wasn't supposed to do it. The scripture says, the steps of a good person are ordered by the Lord. If you'll take the first step, not knowing all the details, trusting that God knows what He's doing, then every step of the way, there will be provision, there will be favor, there will be wisdom. And yes, it's uncomfortable not knowing. You have to stretch, pray, believe, but each step, you not only have God's blessing, but you're growing, you're getting stronger. In the scripture, Peter was the only one that walked on the water. And he was the only one willing to get out of the boat. I'm sure the other disciples said, Peter, don't stay in here with us. Look at those waves. It's dangerous you can drown. When Jesus asked him to come, he had the courage to step into the unknown. And he walked on the water. They have all that he sang. They have that he walked more than you. He walked more than me. What's familiar? Staying in the boat. Although that's comfortable, instead of being a blessing, it can become a curse. Familiarity can keep you from your destiny. What you're used to. How you were raised. The job you've been at for years. Don't let your comforts keep you from becoming all God created you to be. If Abraham would have put his comfort Above fulfilling his purpose, we would be talking about it. You cannot play it safe your whole life and reach the fullness of your destiny. Don't let the what ifs talk you out of it. What if I fail? What if they say no? What if I don't have the funds? You'll never know unless you try. When you come to the end of the life, 
system on it. At one point, we were on this country road for about a hundred mile stretch. There were all these intersections and different roads that veered <laughs> off. And I kept thinking that I had missed my turn. I had to keep looking at the navigation system. I noticed that as long as I was on the right path, the lady on the GPS system didn't say anything. I wish you to come on to do a good job. You can go forward, but She never said a thing until it was time to do something different. Sometimes God is silent. You don't hear him saying anything. It's easy to think I must. 